Hey friends, welcome back to Oso Farm. We're out here checking on our baby. Whoop. We're out here checking on our baby turkeys and our chicks that we hatched out maybe. Are they two weeks old now? A week ago? I don't know. Um, so this thing feels. We've had so many chickens, I have no idea how old any of them are. How old am I? I mean, really. So I stepped outside because the house was getting loud. But I wanted to start a video today. We're gonna do, we kind of match, look at this. Um, I planned it. I know, I got a hole in my shirt from the chicken coop. I can't remember, oh, it's right here. I can't hold this thing today. So we have a busy day today. We're gonna be home most of the day, but there are some errands we need to figure out how to run. We still need to go to Atwoods for the month. And then I'm trying to finish all my menu planning and we still haven't done our Walmart pick up order, but we're hopefully gonna be home most of the day getting some homeschooling done. He's had a hard time with work because our internet has been so weird. So hopefully he'll have a productive work day. I had a lot of dirt, deli not delivered. I picked up dirt yesterday, so I've got to finish. Y'all, she drove the truck to the dirt place. Got they, dirt all they, by myself. They scooped in the first bucket and she thought they were done. And I waved to him and he yeah. was honking at me in the little tractor. My arms, I keep having to switch this because I scooped all the dirt out of the back of the truck with a shovel. Thank you. And it was, I'm just not used to any sort of lifting like that. Manual labor. So <laughs> I haven't done any of the food stuff that I bought from Sam. So all the chicken has to get put in the freezer today. I need to start yogurt, start making some freezer meals. I don't know if I'm gonna get to all that today. I have to get to the meat today. And then we have, we have not had any clean laundry in a while. So I've got to start the laundry. Our floors are that, a mess, just, the outside. We haven't had clean laundry for a while. Well, I need to do laundry, I'll she say does. that. We've been wearing clean clothes, but it's just been, it's been a lot. So, um, it is a beautiful day. It's starting to really get warm, warm outside. We have Isaiah's um, graduation and army send off party a week from this coming up weekend. So I need to get to Hobby Lobby and place my orders for his party. We're probably gonna have, what did we say, 50 to 60 people mm -hmm. here. So those things don't just happen, we have to plan for them. So it's gonna be a good, it's gonna be a good day, right? Absolutely. Okay. So we've already had breakfast. But I'm gonna start some yogurt and start cooking up so you can come along with us. So this is my favorite part of our house, this huge porch. And obviously it's well lived in. This is from last night, Evan's cars, and we literally just kind of came in and left it all. So this will be one of the first things we pick up this is my cute rug from my Target grocery haul. I need to get something underneath it. And I'm not gonna have time to get all this door done probably before the party. I would like to in a perfect world, but let's go start some laundry. Is it Nanny Denny? Are you gonna get dressed? Yep. Are you gonna, oh, you giving me a hug? Evan, hands out. Are you having a lazy morning? No. Have you had breakfast? No. No, do you want some yogurt? No. I want more yogurt, please. No. Yeah? No. Yes, okay. All right, real life. We didn't even close the doors. We have been kind of in survival mode <laughs> since we added Emma and her family here, but we're trying to Get a routine going. This is my laundry. We're gonna get it into these two hampers. And then I have this really pretty house plant I bought, I guess at Aldi a few months ago, that I keep forgetting to water. And it's not even potted in this. This is what it originally came in. So if we make it out to Walmart today, I'm gonna get a new pot for that and kind of clear everything off of that little shelf except for the plant. And I think it'll be really pretty, but it needs a little bit of help.
me, are you playing? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. You're such a good boy. The main one they use is clean. I'm gonna take a second and clean out, not clean out, just or reorganize this closet a little bit, making sure everything is where it needs to be. Okay, so up here we keep our extra big comforters and covers and then paper. I bought these oil lamps for when we had the great snow apocalypse when light, the power goes out. They work really, really well. They light up a lot more than a candle does. These are our kind of dog, dog supplies, cleaning supplies, rags, batteries, cleaning supplies trash bags and then this is where the kitty litter goes so we're gonna vacuum that up quick okay this is my trunk Aldi haul because I'm too exhausted to set all this up when we get home I got five of Evan's vanilla yogurts and one plain yogurt to make our yogurt that we make at home in the instapot I got nine cans of their green chilies I was almost totally out I got an entire box like case of their rice rusk two of the split top wheat bread, and then one gluten-free whole grain bread marked down 50% off. Okay, next layer, I got one of their 100 count pack of paper plates. If you watched my Sam haul, you heard me say that I was only buying one pack of paper plates a month, but having Emma and her family there and just life being a little bit crazier, I thought I would bless myself with a hundred more paper plates. That'll be a few more lunches that we can have easy cleanup. And then I bought four boxes of scallop potatoes. We are going to use these on Mother's Day. I usually only make two at a time, but we never have enough. So I'm going to go ahead and just double what I normally do. And these look yummy, these lemon cream cookies. I got those as a treat for the kids this week. They were out of their Winking Owl wine, so I tried these two, the Outlander and the Bear Brothers. I got two boxes of wheat thins and two hazelnut creamers. And next I got these gluten-free keto coconut clusters. Those are really yummy. And two bags of these dried mangoes, two bags of spinach. Just a few things of produce, some sugar snack peas, zucchini, green onions, and two of the English cucumbers. Okay, not sure if I showed these, but two milks. Um, I got two of these mayos. I haven't unpacked the other one. Two Caesar dressings, two of the spreadable butter, three ricotta cheeses. I'm going to make some lasagnas for some freezer meals. One cottage cheese. Evan Ray has been eating ice cream. So two cookies and cream and two mint chocolate chip. Okay, two boxes of instant brown rice. I could not find bagged. Two things of sugar cones. Evan has been eating, he'll only eat ice cream in a sugar cone, but he does not touch or eat the sugar cone. So if y'all know of where you could get like a plastic sugar cone that would be awesome i don't know if that exists lots of fun gluten-free finds today i got these vegetable egg rolls some sliced cheese provolone and two colby jack buffalo style chicken and honey dress okay don't go into aldi hungry got lots of cheese colby colby jack and pepper jack some greer two goat cheeses one cranberry cinnamon and one blueberry vanilla and then this was a cranberry white cheddar cheese one box of strawberry and orange jello 
one bag of cuties for Daniel, and then this was new. It's in the refrigerated section, gluten-free roasted basil ravioli, spinach artichoke ravioli, and then this linguine. I've not had good luck with gluten-free fresh pasta, so I'm hoping that tastes good. Okay, almost there. Two bags of pretzels, a bag of barbecue, and a bag of sour cream and onion. Some house vinaigrette dressing. We love, love this guacamole salsa. And then I'm gonna try this roasted verde salsa. And they've been drinking a lot of chocolate milk, so I got another. I've got one in the pantry, but went ahead and got one more for them. Okay, and then two things of wraps for them, and then one gluten-free spinach. Okay, I've been outside all afternoon. I don't think I filmed, I feel like I'm getting sunburned. Filmed much inside, because all I did was seed fertilizing up. I don't even know how to do it. Um, what have I been doing? Getting my seed starters and getting them up potted. I couldn't think of words. But Danny's out here whoop, on our splash pad from last night. I bought that at our Sam's once a month grocery haul. Um, What's he doing? He's, there's not even, there's just water on the inside until you turn it on, but it's keeping him, it's keeping him busy. So there's a gas station here where we live that is known for its grill. And so we're, going to have some yummy hamburgers and chicken strips and I wanted to give you a tour quick of the garden Brian is pondering how he's gonna make me a tomato cage with our leftover what is that cattle panel yep okay 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 things are coming along nicely Paulo is barking. So I've got some corn and onions and I think those are artichokes. I've got to look up the other things. Some tomatillos, some zinnias. These are some teddy bear sunflowers that I planted. I think they're kind of low to the ground. And this is Cleome that I grew from seed. So I'm really excited to see that bloom. This is an M.I. Gardener wildflower mix. And y'all, this is a hollyhock that I grew from seed. And I had just actually added it when I added the wildflower mix. I've had some caterpillar issues, so we've been spraying for that. Try, trying to watch Danny too. So here's our trellis and we've got our beans starting so so cute I don't know if you can see that sunflowers some squash carrots lettuce I've got this really pretty purple um, bell pepper another tomatillo um, let's see here a dahlia a marigold I've got some three tomato plants that's what he's building the cage for another artichoke um, some Anaheim peppers over here, cayenne peppers, my zucchinis. And here are, okay, now these are the artichokes from Azure Standard. And then the tomatillos, sunflowers, more tomatoes and sunflowers. I bought all of these grow bags to plant pumpkins and watermelons in. We got some garden dirt. We're going to move to this bed over here. Emma's feeling good and came out with the boys. So I've got some carrots and basil and some parsley up here. My Cilantro has gone to flower, and then I was watching another YouTube channel, and it said that once it goes to seed, you can have coriander. So parsley, I've got two more tomatoes here, but here's the mess that I made. And here's all my seedlings that I have moved. I've got more hollyhocks, and I've up-potted 
Steve.